Hello everyone, recently we have released a new version of GTO Base, uh, version 1.16 and today I want to introduce you to uh, the new features. First let's go through uh, the new libraries, uh, which are MTT libraries uh, for 9max and 8max play. For 9max we have solutions for uh, 5 different stack sizes, 15, 17, 20, 25 and 30 BBs. But as of now, we only have uh, post flop solutions for uh, 9 max, uh, 15, 17, 20, and 25 BB stacks. For 30 BBs and for 8 max tables, uh, we are now only preparing uh, post flop solutions, so now you can only check pre flop. How does it work? Uh, we choose between 8 max and uh, 9 max tables. So let's go with 9 max. Uh, we choose stack sizes. Let's go with uh, 25 BBs. And for example, we want to uh, go through uh, MP versus big blind spot. So everyone folds, uh, BB calls, and the board is, uh, well, let's say, a 10, 8, 4. And now we can take a look uh, for our post flop strategy for both players. We see a lot of options here, a lot of sizings, uh, both uh, for MP and uh, for the big blind. And this is, of course, very handy for those who prefer a very balanced uh, strategy. And using this library as an example, we will go through uh, some uh, new features that we, uh, we have uh, introduced in uh, version 1.16. Now, right here in the viewer, you can go through some options here uh, for the metrics. Uh, could be strategy, could be range uh, composition. Uh, weights of all the hands and so on. Uh, could be EVs of uh, different hands. And finally, equity of uh, every hand against uh, opponent's range. Also, you can now uh, choose different colors uh, for different actions, uh, different race sizes, for example, and uh, matrix colors as well uh, for equity, EVs, uh, and uh, ranges. And also, you can now switch uh, between uh, single player mode uh, and uh, two player mode. If you go to two-player mode, uh, you can compare ranges. Well, right now you can only compare uh, range compositions and uh, equity of uh, different hands. But in some time uh, it will be also possible to compare uh, strategies and EVs. But yeah, for now we can compare equities, we can compare equity of uh, different hands uh, against uh, opponent, opponent's range. And we can compare uh, range uh, compositions which range has more hands of a certain type, um, and so on. Well, using this spot as an example, we can uh, take a look at both ranges, MP and BB. We can switch to combos here and uh, see uh, which range has more nut hands on uh, 10, 8, 4 board. Okay, MP has some two pair combos, but not a lot. Uh, he has a lot of over pairs compared to uh, the big blind. He has 33 combos of top pair. And the rest of the range, uh, second pair, third pairs, king high, ace high, uh, nothing, which is uh, pure air. And we can take a look at the, the percentages of uh, the range for every group of hands. And we can come to a conclusion that uh, this range is pretty polar. And if you go through big blinds range, we see not so many knotted hands, uh, no sets, 13 two pair combos and uh, 78 top pair combos and tons of uh, second pairs and third pairs, so this range is uh, more linear. And a lot of pure air, and uh, some ace high, king high combos, and of course uh, MP has sets uh, which uh, Big Blind uh, does not have. Well, because he has a low weight of uh, eights and fours uh, in his range. Only uh, 10 and 18 percent. And if we want to compare equities, we just switch to equity here, and yeah, see equities of different uh, combos. And yeah, also we can uh, take a look at uh, the distribution of uh, draws for both ranges. All the possible draws, backdoor draws, uh, no draw at all, and you can uh, switch uh, on and off uh, every filter uh, whenever you want. And if you want to check or uncheck uh, all of them at once, you just click here on draws, uh, and yeah, there you go. So you can manipulate it uh, the way you want. Uh, we have also changed uh, the reports uh, for the turn spots and uh, flop spots uh, in uh, this version. For example, if you want to load a report uh, for the uh, flop spot, uh, we click here. 
And when they load, uh, finally, we see that uh, here at the very top uh, we have new tabs, uh, combos and draws. And if we click on combos, uh, it again takes some time uh, to uh, load, but not so much. And here we can see uh, which percentage of our range a certain uh, category of uh, hands uh, represents. For example, if we filter for Ace X boards, uh, just like that, uh, put A here. And here on board, uh, like uh, Ace 3 2 uh, flush draw, we see that uh, sets represent 1.21% of our range, uh, two pairs 2.02, uh, top pairs 29%, uh, under pairs 22%, uh, and uh, pure air, nothing, uh, 45%. And uh, we can also see how we should play every uh, part of our range, which is really handy, I think. For example, here we see that uh, with pure air, with nothing hands, uh, we uh, bet small about uh, 50% uh, of the time. We bet bigger about, uh, I would say, 40% of the time. And for the last 10% uh, of the time, uh, we use a really uh, big uh, bet sizing. Oh, I mean, we look uh, at the big blinds range here, so there were no uh, bets, uh, those are raises. Uh, you see, we can call or raise uh, against our opponent's bet. But if you want a report uh, for uh, MP actions, uh, then we either switch here to MP, or we go to the node of the tree uh, just before uh, the uh, MP's action. And then we click on the report button uh, right here. And now we see MP's a strategy for the uh, flop for uh, different boards. And of course we can uh, filter boards again. Uh, let's, uh, let's go with uh, Ace-King boards, Ace-King X uh, this time. Well, let's uh, pick, I don't know, Ace-King 4 with a flash draw. And we see that uh, we check 10% of the time. We mean bet 13%, we bet 1.842%, uh, we bet 279.57%, uh, uh, which is about uh, half pot, uh, we bet uh, bigger. 3.74, 13% uh, of the time, well this is around 2 thirds, uh, 3 quarters of the pot. And the pot is 558, so 275 is uh, exactly half pot. So yeah, we bet uh, from half pot uh, to 3 quarters uh, in this area. Uh, because, of course, uh, MP has a range advantage on this board. He has more uh, strong hands uh, in his range. Uh, okay, now let's go to uh, the uh, turn reports. Now we can see reports not uh, only in terms of our strategy, but uh, in terms of uh, EVs and uh, equities as well. Let me show you. Okay, we open turn report. And we see that besides uh, uh, strategies for every turn card, uh, we can also take a look at uh, equities and EVs uh, of uh, every player. I see here MP equity, uh, BB equity, MP EV and uh, BB EV. So we can see uh, equities for different turn cards for both players. And we can compare it here on the right. And of course we can see uh, BB equity as well. And we can take a look at EVs of uh, different turn cards for different players. We see that uh, MP doesn't really like uh, 7 or 6 on the turn. 5 is also bad. Well, uh, those are cards where uh, BB has a lot of uh, straights and uh, two pair combos. And of course for the big blind, uh, those are the best uh, turn cards. 7s, uh, uh, 6s and 5s. Those are the cards that he actually hopes for. And yeah, the brighter the red color, uh, the worse uh, this card uh, is uh, for this player. And uh, yeah, we see that uh, Ace of Hearts uh, is especially bad, minus 3.36. And the reason is that uh, Ace of Hearts does not bring any uh, backdoor flash draws. So yeah, it would be really difficult to play uh, for the big blind uh, on such a turn card. Okay, next novelty that we have uh, is for uh, Heads Up Anti Library. You now have an opportunity to see the reports uh, for this library. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, take a look. We choose uh, Heads Up NT here, Heads Up NT library, and we click on this report tab here. We have uh, reports for preflop, for limb pots, for raise pots, for isopots, and for three bed pots. So we can analyze everything just as we were able to uh, do in uh, spin and go libraries. Okay, now to the trainer updates. 
well, we choose any spot here, we just want to use it uh, as an example. And let's go through the new features that we have uh, introduced here. First of all, uh, here in these little boxes on the left, uh, where we see uh, players' ranges, we can now uh, switch to equities uh, or EVs. Well, for example, if we go a post-flop, uh, then uh, well, let's call here. Uh, he raises, we have to fold. Uh, let's see the spot where we actually uh, go uh, post-flop. Okay, we raise, uh, he folds. Unfortunately, uh, we need another one. Again, we have to fold. By the way, until we find the hand that we are looking for, you may notice that uh, the size uh, of the buttons is actually bigger now. So every button here is a little bigger now. We have to increase it in, uh, in size and uh, cards a little bigger um, and table a little bigger. So everything here in the playing area is a little bigger now. We still have no opportunity to see postflop uh, to go through new features, but uh, let's keep trying. Not this time, okay. Well, it should happen at some point, right? Okay, finally, post-flop hand, uh, and we see a monotone board, uh, king, 8, uh, 5. Uh, we have jack 5, and we are in position. Okay, what can we see here? Before, we could only see range compositions here for both players. Percentage of uh, every hand uh, in both ranges. But now we can also see EVs, uh, here EV of uh, every hand, and we can see equity of uh, all the hands. Both ranges, uh, all the equities uh, of uh, all the hands. Also, at the request of uh, many users, actually, we have added uh, a random number generator here. So now there's a little dice here. You can uh, click on this dice uh, whenever you want, and it will generate uh, a random number from 1 to 100 for you. Uh, you can click it uh, a couple of times, uh, and then it will uh, take uh, a little bit more for the dice to roll uh, to a certain uh, number. Or you can click it uh, one time to get uh, the number uh, quickly. So yeah, it's up to you. And now, uh, for example, here if we see bet uh, and our opponent calls, and uh, we see 10 on the turn, and if we choose uh, this uh, big sizing, for example, we see that uh, this is a mistake. We never use this option, and now you can actually replay this hand. We see this little button, a replay hand here, and now we have this hand as a new one, and we can uh, replay it uh, from the start. And also you can now get a little help uh, from the machine. If, for example, you struggle with the decision, you don't know uh, which one uh, is the better one, you can click here on this little bulb, and you see all the percentages uh, for all the actions. We never fold this hand, we limp it 62% uh, of the time, we min raise it 38% uh, of the time, and we never shove it. And if we want to turn this off, uh, we just click it again. Uh, we have also changed uh, fonts here. Now we use the one that uh, is a little bit uh, more eye-pleasing. And uh, this is it, basically uh, those are uh, all the updates uh, that we have uh, in uh, version 1.16. We are going to come up uh, with a new update uh, pretty soon. And of course we will go through every new feature just uh, as we did here. Thank you very much for choosing us, uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, if you have any suggestions, if you have any ideas on how we can improve our product, please let us know in our Discord channel. To go to our Discord, uh, just click uh, here at the top. Thank you and uh, have a nice day.